Good morning, good evening, good afternoon, good whatever time of day it is and whatever part of the world you're at. Welcome back. And today we're going to do another little short lesson. Today's lesson is going to be on exponents. So exponents are used as a shorter way to show multiplication. In other words, exponents are repeated multiplication with the same factor. Okay. So four times four times four can be written as four to the third power or four cubed. Now, um, four is the base and three is the exponent. And you, when you write it, the exponent has to be shown as like in the air and it has to be smaller than the base. Like visually, it has to be smaller than the base when you write it. But either way, the exponent tells how many times the base is used as a factor. So if we were figuring this out, four to the third power once again, means 4 times 4 times 4. And then if I'm working through this, 4 times 4 is 16. And then 16 times 4 is 64. So 4 to the third power is equal to 64. Let's take a look at exponents with without parentheses, because that's another big thing. The negative is not included with the base. So when you look at this example here, you would say this as the opposite of 3 squared. And as you and as as highlighted in the example, the three is the base, but not the negative. The negative is not included with the three. So three is the base and the two is the exponent. So the two tells me how many times to multiply the three. So that would be negative three times three. You have two threes, but not two negative threes. Okay. So a negative times a positive is a negative, and that makes negative nine. So if we were looking at these two examples here, um, this is we would say this as the opposite of 2 to the third power. So that would be written as negative times or negative 2 times 2 times 2. So we have shown visually we have three twos, okay? And then we just go ahead and multiply. Negative 2 times 2 is negative 4, and negative 4 times 2 is negative 8, okay? Now the second example, we have the opposite of 4 squared. So once again, that would be written as negative 4 times 4, and then that would make negative 16 because a negative times a positive is a negative. Now let's take a look at exponents with parentheses. So in this, in this example, the negative is included with the base, okay? And you would say this example is negative 3 squared or negative 3 to the second power. So in this example, the base is now negative 3, and the 2 is still the exponent. So we would have two negative 3s. So a negative 3 times a negative 3 is a positive 9. So let's take a look at these other two examples here. We have negative 2 to the third power, which we would write it as negative 2 times negative 2 times negative 2. Negative 2 times negative 2 is positive 4, and positive 4 times negative 2 is negative 8. And the second one, negative 5 squared, which is negative 5 times negative 5. And a negative times a negative is a positive, so that would be positive 25. Okay. Have a try these sections. So you could pause it right here and then resume it when you're ready. But I'm going to go ahead and jump on in. So let's take a look at number 1. Number 1 reads 2 to the 4th power. So we would write that as 2 times 2 times 2 times 2. Four twos, okay? And then you would just go ahead and multiply that. That would be four times two times two. Then this would make eight times two, and eight times two is 16. The next one, number two, says six squared, or six to the second power. So that's six times six, which makes 36. Number three, you read this one as, because there's no parentheses, you read this as the opposite of... 7 squared. So now when we read this, this would be, or when we write this, we would write negative 7 times 7. And a negative times a positive is a negative, so this would make negative 49. Now, number 4, the 9, it, well, the negative 9 is in parentheses, okay? So we would actually read that as negative 9 to the second power, or negative 9 squared which would be negative 9 times negative 9, which would equal positive 81. All right, that will conclude this little short lesson for the day. I'm going to holler at y'all later. Deuces.